All right, you guys, let's go to Seattle. So once again, the day began with a very healthy airport breakfast. And because Alberta decided to greet us with some snow this morning, this was my very first time watching a plane get de-iced. And Seattle welcomed us with some very gloomy weather, which really sounds about right. And we then took the train from the SeaTac airport to downtown. And I also thought I would never be so excited to see a Macy's and then we found out that it was shut down so off to the pike market we go we're a very lovely uber driver in the morning suggested that we go see the gum wall and it is as disgusting as you would think that it is literally a whole block with just walls and walls of gum that felt never ending. Okay. <laughs> and another thing that we learned about Seattle was that it was very hilly. So one thing that I definitely did not account for was that the Pike Market would actually be a very steep staircase walk up. <laughs> And despite me working at Starbucks for like five years of my life, I was actually so excited to go in and see the very first Starbucks that ever came into existence. Um, they had a very interesting way of buying merch. So you actually selected it from a catalog and then they would just give it to you from behind the counter. And after waiting in line, we were obviously super, super hungry. So we went to Pike Place Chowder. They are the best chowder in all of America, and honestly, all of their awards definitely show for it. Up, please. Not you, it's that one. Don't worry. After the market, we went to the Chihuly Garden. All of this, by the way, is made out of blown glass, which is insane. And this piece here was formerly at a Barney's for their winter display. Rest in peace, Barney's. So that would be as many as four or five layers if we wanted to. And then there'd be a lip wrap color usually contrast into the interior exterior color. So after a whole day of bloom, after we had left the garden, we actually saw a nice rainbow. And truth be told, I was a little too tired to film the rest of the evening. So here's day two. I haven't done a proper fit check yet, but I'm wearing a cost. This is um, Gap Kids, actually. Skirt is super old. Um, Urban Outfitters, my mom got me from Paris like five years ago. And I'm wearing these Hunter boots, but I missed out on the rain, which is actually really nice, so. And then this coat is from Zara and Padded Forever. Bag, my Gucci jacket. 
I was very adamant about going to Glossier. And I was unfortunately a day too early for the Olivia Rodrigo collection. And here we have one of the lip beasts that I was most excited to pick up. It is the Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Trench. And after Glossier, we had ended up going to the Seattle Ferry Terminal to catch a ferry to go to Bainbridge. So when we reached the island, we were so hungry that we had ended up getting brunch and I ordered steak and eggs. We also stopped at a used bookstore and they honestly had some really good finds. I just didn't end up getting anything, but this is a place definitely worth checking out. And is it really one of my vlogs if we don't stop for coffee? So my tita got a macchiato and I got an oat latte. Say hi! Hello! <laughs> and we had to catch our ferry, so here's one more of this pretty town. So we headed back to the city and we were so excited to go and check out an Amazon Go because we don't have any in Canada, but it was a little bit of a bust because they're actually not open on Sundays. But on a more positive note, I went to Mopop. So I'm at the Mopop and I'm by myself, so this is going to be a totally solo tour, but I'm so excited. I've been seeing this all over TikTok and Instagram obviously and social media works so, so that's why I'm here They had some Pearl Jam notebooks, Biggie, obviously. It's for people go to to start to live here. You'll be in New Orleans or Chicago or San Francisco. And if you're a huge Nirvana fan, this is definitely an exhibit you would enjoy since they have a whole room dedicated to the band. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I am now finally back in Calgary, editing this video, not as we speak, but I was editing this video prior to, and then I realized, as always, that I've forgotten to film an outro. So here it is. Um, the snow is starting to melt off from the first few clips of my vlog, which is really funny. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but thank you so much to those of you that do stay tuned and watch my vlogs. 
I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend ahead and I will see you in the next vlog. It's gonna be part two and also my makeup routine, which has been long awaited, so.